In this figure, we are given two circles inside a square, and the radius of one of them is 3 units, and the radius of the other one is 2 units. We need to find the area of the shaded region, and this is the region that is inside the square, but does not include the circles. To solve this problem, first we have to find one side of this square, and once we know one side, we can find the area of the entire square. Then once we find the area of the square, we will subtract the areas of the circles, and we will get the area of the shaded region. So we will start by drawing a diagonal for this square. This diagonal splits this right angle into two equal angles, each measuring 45 degrees. The diagonal also passes through each of the centers of these circles. And that is because each of these centers has the same vertical and horizontal distance from a side of the square. In fact, each point on this diagonal has the same vertical and horizontal distance. Now, let's take a look at the distance between the centers of these two circles. Because the radius of the larger circle is 3 units, and the radius of the smaller circle is 2 units, the distance between the centers is 5 units. Next, we will draw a right triangle, where this side represents the hypotenuse. Now, because this side of the triangle is parallel to the side of the square, if this angle is 45 degrees, then this angle is also 45 degrees. Then, in this right triangle, if this angle is 90 degrees and this is 45 degrees, then this one is also 45 degrees. Now we have an isosceles triangle, and if these two angles are equal, then the opposite sides are also equal. We don't know the lengths of these sides, and let each of them be x. Now, let's find x using the Pythagorean theorem. That is, x squared plus x squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So, x squared plus another x squared equals 5 squared. x squared plus x squared is 2 x squared, and 5 squared is 25. We will divide both sides by 2, and we will get that x squared equals 25 over 2. Then, to find x, we will take the square root of 25 over 2. Then, x equals square root of 25 over square root of 2, and square root of 25 is 5, then x equals 5 over square root of 2. So, we just found a side of this triangle, and it is 5 over square root of 2. Now, from these two points, we will draw perpendiculars down to the bottom side. Then, down here, this distance is 3 units, because this is the same as the radius of the larger circle. This distance is 5 over square root of 2, because this is the same as the side of this triangle. And this distance is 2, because this is the same as the radius of the smaller circle. And now to find the side of the square, we just have to add all these three numbers. For simplicity, we can add 3 and 2 together, then the side of the square will be 5 plus 5 over square root of 2. And now if this side is 5 plus 5 square root of 2, then this side is also 5 plus 5 square root of 2. Then to find the area of the square, we need to raise 5 plus 5 over square root of 2 to the second power. So again, the area of the square is 5 plus 5 over square root of 2 to the second power. So as you see, to find the area of this square, we multiply one side by another side, and because these two sides are the same, we can write this as 5 plus 5 over square root of 2 to the second power. Next, let's write the area of each of these circles. The formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared, where r represents the radius. To find the area of the larger circle, 
we will replace r with 3 and we will write pi multiplied by 3 squared which is 9 pi. Now let's find the area of the smaller circle. For this we will replace r with 2 and we will have pi times 2 squared or 4 pi. Now to find the area of all this shaded region we will take the area of the entire square and we will subtract the areas of each of these circles. So first we will write 5 plus 5 over square root of 2 all squared then we will subtract 9 pi and 4 pi. To approximate this quantity we can use a calculator. Then the area of the shaded region will be approximately 32 square units. And now we have the problem completed. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.